hello guys welcome back to my channel so if you haven't subscribed the channel please go and click the subscribe button so you can get more videos about console simulation so in today's video i'm going to show you that how you can simulate particle flow in a 2d pipe i already solved the problem so in the first step i'll show you that uh, for the geometry i imported the geometry from the solidworks in the dxf format so after that we need to assign the material so in this case I'm using H2O water. So the next step is we have to select the physics. So we are using two physics. One is laminar flow and the other one is particle tracing for fluid flow. So for the laminar flow, for in the first step we need to select the domain and then select incompressible flow. The next step is go to fluid properties and assign the properties from the material, the density and the dynamic viscosity. For the initial values, we don't need to provide an initial value here. And for the wall, we need to provide no slip boundary condition. So here we are going to select two inlets. This is inlet number one, inlet number two. And so we are providing 25 meter per second velocity. For the outlet, we have selected these two boundaries, outlet number one, outlet number two. And we have given the pressure condition, static pressure condition, is, which is equal to zero. For the particle tracing, we have to select the domain again and you can see here the settings for the particle tracing fluid flow physics. We will go to the wall and apply the wall condition equal to physics freeze and primary particle condition none. For the particle properties, we have to assign the prop density of the particle. So we have defined it 2200 kilogram per meter cube and the diameter of the particle is one micron. So the next step is to click inlet and we have only selected the inlet number two. And so you can see the settings. We have provided the release time 0, 0 0.1 and 10. So we have assigned initial position for particles and we have selected the density and number of particles per is 20 and density proportional to one. For the initial velocity, select the expression and select the velocity field already solved using laminar flow. For the outlet, select the two outlets and then apply the freeze condition. The next step is to apply drag force. And for the drag force, we are using Stokes law and select the velocity field that has already been solved using laminar flow the dynamic viscosity and the density. The next step is to generate the mesh. So we build a course mesh to make the simulation quicker. In the study step, the first step we have uh, selected stationary study. In the stationary study, you can see here, we are only solving laminar flow physics. For the time dependent, we are solving it for particle tracing for fluid flow. So here you can see the output time we have provided. So the next step is to compute and we will get the results. So I will show you some of the results here. This is the velocity profile. You can see here the fluid is coming from inlet number one and two. After the bend, it is going to outlet number one and two. So the next step is to show you the particle trajectories. So you can see here if I go to different time steps, you can clearly see the particles are flowing in the pipe. We also have generated animation. I will go here and click on the player and then click the play button. So you can see here the particles are flowing in the fluid media and we can trace the particles flowing in the fluid medium.